CTV News, Vancouver Island Report. Good evening. Thank you for being here. We begin tonight on Salt Spring Island, where a set decorator is making some room on his own set, on his mantle. After being honored with Hollywood's top prize, Jim Erickson says he was stunned as he watched and heard the Academy call his name, awarding him the Oscar for Best Production Design in the drama Lincoln. He learned of his win the same way millions of others around the world did on television in his living room on Salt Spring Island. CTV's Chandler Grieve has his story. Hi, Pam. Wow, how about that, huh? <laughs> his phone won't stop ringing. Everybody, everybody's ever known me, I think. And, and about a third of them, I have the faintest idea who they are. <laughs> that tends to happen when your name is called on Hollywood's biggest stage. And the Oscar goes to Lincoln, Rick Carter, and Jim Erickson. This is the first Academy Last Award. Last night in front of millions, set decorator Jim Erickson received film's highest honor, an Oscar for best production design in the Steven Spielberg drama, Lincoln. And then we jumped and screamed and hollered and danced and drank champagne and ate popcorn and had a great time. Um, Jim Erickson, who's the set decorator, shares this honor. The flu kept the 62-year-old um, off the red carpet last night. Instead, he watched the award show from his Salt Spring living room. Put on my tux, comb my hair, and we sat down and watched it. When it came to his category, Jim, who moved to BC from Minnesota in his 20s, says he was not expecting to hear his name. I was, I was really anticipating that, that either Les Mis or Anna Karenina would win. That government of the people, by the people, for the people shall not perish from the earth. The Academy was clearly impressed with Jim's ability to recreate an authentic 1860s setting, including the meticulous attention to detail for scenes inside the White House. We feel we may have reproduced Lincoln's office more accurately than any other film or museum probably going right now. It was the second time the avid gardener has been nominated for an Oscar. In 2008, he was recognized for his work on the set of There Will Be Blood. But Jim says he is not a big movie watcher, instead using his daily life for inspiration. Uh, and I don't study old films to make films. I think that's stupid. I study life and I do my research. Jim says Lincoln will likely be his last film he works on, with his talented eye for design and color now solely focused on his Salt Spring backyard. Gardening and playing with my dog and, and yeah, that's it. I've done everything else. I've, I've done more in my life I ever dreamed I ever would. Chandler Grieve, CTV News, Salt Spring Island.